So all businesses want to retain customers. After all, that's the core of the business. And in 2020, they got to do it a lot. They got to really experiment with how best to retain and communicate with their own clients. But what do you think is the best media for retaining clients, at least in their opinion? We'll find out on this Local Marketing Minute. Corey's Local Marketing Minute is brought to you by iPublish Media. Increase new accounts and grow local ad revenue by delivering the types of campaign SMBs want to buy today. Learn more by visiting iPublishMedia.com or by emailing sales at iPublishMedia.com. And now, the shaman of local marketing, Corey Elliott. Hello, everybody. Retention. 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 Anyway, 2020 gave a hell of an opportunity to local businesses to retain their customers. Put another way to constantly communicate with their customer base. Let them know what's going on. What are their safety precautions? Are they even open? And nowadays, there are a lot of ways a local business can do that. And a lot of local businesses still see it as very, very important. In fact, almost half are going to focus on retention more than they did in 2020, which was a banner retention year. Is there such a thing as a banner retention year? So this begs the question, what media helps you retain customers from their point of view? Well, lucky you, we asked. We had a big long list of things you could choose from. Actually, we had 23. They're not just media types, there are other ways of communicating. We asked, did you use this method? And what was the most useful method? Okay, so two different things going on there. That was number one, regularly updating social media. That was the most. But check this out. This makes sense, but it's also just, now you'll see. I wrote down the top nine. Social media advertising, email advertising, email directly to the clients, newsletters, asking for feedback, surveys, inviting events, SEM, and utilizing a CRM. Notice anything about these top nine? They're all digital. For the most part, they're controlled by the local advertiser. I think I just spit. The first non-digital media that makes the list, place your bets, direct mail. Direct mail is the first non-digital media form and straight up advertising form, really. Well, at least the advertising form that I need to talk to somebody about. Here's the other interesting thing about direct mail. If I write down the percentage of all the SMBs who use these, like the 66% for everything, Okay, these are the percentages of local advertisers who said they use this to retain customers. So 24% use direct mail. You think, oh, well, that's not that impressive compared to all this stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! But what about the most useful method? Which of these things did local advertisers find the most useful? Number one was social media advertising, 30%. So 61% used it, 30%, about half, said it was the most useful. Direct mail, 24% used it, 15% said it was the most effective. That's a, uh, um, Eh, yeah, call it 60. 62% of the people who tried direct mail thought it was the most effective. Again, half who used social media said it was most effective. 62% of the ones who used direct mail thought it was the most effective. Hmm. I know that's a lot to look at, but you get the idea. When it comes to retention, digital that I can control as a local advertiser. And then, yeah, direct mail seemed to work all right. That's the thing about a lot of this is it's setting up an echo chamber. It's good. You're talking to your own customers, but you're just talking to your own customers. And again, that's what retention's all about, I suppose. Anywho. What percentage of local advertisers say they're above average at retaining their current customers when compared to their peers? Half, 40%, 20%, 79% rate themselves above average retaining customers. Pretty good at it. So in summation, retention. Lots of DIY digital driving it. There's something going on with direct mail and local businesses are really good at it. If you're going in to talk to a local business about their retention efforts, remember this. And again, this is all perception. I'm not telling you direct mail works. I'm telling you that local businesses think direct mail works. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. You know, I hate it when people say maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Because as soon as you say maybe it does, it implies the maybe it doesn't. You don't have to say the maybe it doesn't. Just say maybe it does. That's it. All right, until next time. You've been watching Corey's Local Marketing Minute, sponsored by our friends at iPublish Media. Learn more at iPublishMedia.com. And if a few minutes with Corey isn't enough, you can hear more of his insights on the Local Marketing Trends podcast. Just look for the podcast link on BorellAssociates.com.